Hello folks and welcome back to more Metro Exodus and when last we left off we ended up leaving uh, the Volga I believe and have now got onto the train proper with its brand new carriage. Um, I didn't realise we were going to be leaving that area, it was a bit of a shame uh, because I would have liked to have explored it more, I probably missed loads of stuff uh, including the two locked doors that were right at the end there. Um, of the uh, the last part, so unfortunately we ain't gonna find out what's in those, and I've probably missed some sweet upgrades. But that's the nature of the beast on a blind playthrough. Anyway, let us continue. Right, to run along. Dad wanted something. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, move along. We we already had the long-winded uh, chit chat with Anna there. Um, think with a radio. Okay. Canel, Canel, come in. Canel, over. That's just great. Have a will, I'll try later. Ooh, we found something. Why are you guys kissing Munchakov's ass so much? How long has it been since he even arrived in Irkutsk? Not even two years. You better reconsider your position on Meshnikov. Did you forget who started trading with the convicts from Zolotoy? Huh? Well, that was Zakhar's idea. And Zakhar is the man. He crossed by call. Alone. He quit sign up to anything he proposes at once. Well, Menshikov? I couldn't care less about. Aren't you getting too big in your head? You're so cool now that the relay gang is off your case? Don't fall off that high horse. Go to hell, Dan. <laughs> All right. I can live with listening to Menshikov if you're so fond of him. Ah, enough of that shit already. The important part is that your coat is still around, and you guys are too. You're right. That is the important part. Well, give my regards to Menshikov. <laughs> Over and out. You devil. <laughs> Over and out. Okay, so it sounds like we can have some radio calls here. Oh, and apparently I've scored an achievement. Um, Alright, let's come out of that. Um, what's this? Diary? Oh, okay. Um, crew? Oh, okay. Creatures, watchmen, demons... Human animals, zarfish, and shrimp female. Oh, shrimp male, dog, and lurkers. Right, well, I think we can uh, quite uh, honestly How leave this. Been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio too. I'm going to jump. 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 Want to go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. Oh, hey. place fit for a king, I must say. Now, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. It's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Old Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore. And he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. 
Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. <laughs> awesome. A oh, smoke break. That's good. Oh, what would you like to ask? Oh, guess I, uh. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Good God. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <laughs> yeah, it's just a fag. Enjoy a nice ciggy. <clears throat> well, you're the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. Hell yeah. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really. No, a child. But he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? Oh, you already paid it back by getting the damn train fixed. So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Yeah. Sure thing. Oh, hello. Oh, we got ourselves a little noty note here. What's this? <coughs> uh, nasty as letter. Dear Daddy, I write this so you know where to look for Mommy and me when you come back. Because Mommy and I wanted to stay, but Salentius says we must go to the tower and leave this car, and I don't want to. I wanted to wait for you in the car, but Mommy said I can't. And Salentius said... You won't come back because you failed the test of faith. He is a stupid liar because you never needed any test as their faith is dumb. I remember you said so. Mommy said nothing, but I know she is waiting for you too. So please come back soon and take us away from these fools. I love you very much. Nastia. Oh my god, that was a terrible accident. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. I brutalized it for you. Oh, enjoy the suffering. Nope. Nope. Nothing of interest there. Oh, he's getting smooth. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. Let's go. Are you up for a gym? Come on, pick the guitar up. Damn straight. Hey, we are knocking out them beats. Look at that go. It's actually a pretty nice song. I think she might be getting a little bit uncomfortable about the extra, um, Thank you, Stefan. I'm sorry to ask you about you, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? Probably not. He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sieni used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Kids aren't as daft as you think. Hey, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Okay, let's get this uh, moving on. I'm, I'm sure it's nice to sit down and talk to everyone, but... Uh, yeah. Let's get this moving on. We've got a mission to fulfill. That. Thanks to Tokara, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command.
commander of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelnikov? Simply capable. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major. And I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great. Yes, uh, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K6, uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters ever reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor. Oh. Thank you. Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. Uh, we are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the arc. Over and out. Sus. the people. Over and out. Sus. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. Yeah. Oh, the minister himself. This is incredible. You shouldn't get By too way, excited. Artyom, you should take a look at the map. Oh, God. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can hope for smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. Well, let's hope so the track's in good it shape. Take us quite some time to get there. Oh, it will. So, Yermak, where were we? You were safe. Okay. Let's move this we are on. approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Oh, that poor naive fool. Somebody is uh, setting themselves up for the lofty height of hope for a massive fall to earth. <laughs> Real car, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. Oh, look at that bed, mate. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going 
want to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Now I'm with the kid on this. Everyone masks on. Passengers, get inside and put the look tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our film and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long. And are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right. Come with us. Or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Oh, okay, so that is actually our rail car. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. Um, we do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. So, yes, sir. Great, let's go. <laughs> Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. I've got a bad feeling about all this. <clears throat> Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Good lord. that easy and look rail cars with machine guns what does that tell you this is a bad place now we shouldn't have come here really okay so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet i don't get this oh see nobody home how about we go back huh look Press has got the right idea here. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See, we expected. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. They've got us dead to rights. Jesus Christ. What are the maintenance people thinking, I wonder? There are none. Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, video. You know what? There's no need for a small crowd. So you do better stay with Chris. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, God. 
Please tell me I haven't soft locked myself here. Okay, I can get round them. Oh, this is not good. So quiet. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. You're about to get shot, mate. Uh, there's only one reason this game would allow me to keep my weapon out. And that's because I'm about to shoot folks. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's gonna be an acid bath. No. Yeah, red curtains. There's a gun emplacement behind those. Nazi? Comrade Minister! Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I don't know. I'd that like to request that grin. my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. This is women not good. and children? <laughs> good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? <laughs> Oh, this is about to be a dirty situation. Oh, man. Well, at least I've got two of the bastards. I don't think Arno's going to have a very good time. Oh, shit. I get to kill some folks. What the? Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I, I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. God. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Ah, oh, shit. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... Let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. Oh, this That's is gonna not go. a problem, though. <clears throat> since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Right. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. 
I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on your something. In the meantime, I'll you excuse beast. myself. Come here. I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have oh, done that before shit. the war. But I'll get you later. Burn this thing to ashes. So I won't even have dirty holes Now we'll be full again. Good. Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. Cavalry. Oh, we do. We must find Anna. I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it. Idiot. Stop the main elevator. I'm absolutely going to fucking ruin these guys. No, that's not the fucking... Wait. Oh. Yeah. I'll fucking shoot you in the nuts, mate. Duck, smooth. Fucking yeet. Snipe the shit out of you. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Uh. Still, the complex is huge. And we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot. You come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Yeah, they mess with the wrong fucking team, mate. I swear to God, we're going to rip them a new one. And I'm actually going to let this... Uh, I'm going to let this uh, go on uh, just a little bit longer because there's not been much going on. Got a new note. Diary page one. I just lucked out. Missing the construction milestone was the best thing ever after all. To think I was so upset about that stupid bonus. What does a pile of ash need for need bonus for? Now we have made it. Now we have it made. The government didn't arrive after all, so the complex is ours with all of its stores. The bunker was supposed to save a whole town. And there's just a couple of thousand of us. The only problem is the baby department. But we'll just wait till the radiation's dissipated and calmly walk down the mountain. Or rather, 
crawl up from under it. Some fucking luck the government didn't arrive for a reason after all. The thing is, somebody did a better number on the food reserve budget than on the construction one. We did manage to find, uh, build the thing, even if late, but the stores are empty. Sure thing, all quartermasters are crooks, and they had it coming, but the bastards were telling the truth. After all, the shelves are empty. Well... There are some seeds and pasta, but that shit won't last us even a year. Aha! Uh -huh. Get what you fucking deserve! Wait, can I... Please open my pack. Shotgun's nice and all. But... I figured I'd give it a shot anyway. Oh damn, I can't swap weapons here. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm stuck with it then. Shoddy it is. Somebody's screaming. Oh. oh, that makes sense. Safe to say, I probably need to adjust my pistol. Do that in a sec. Trails everywhere. Okay, so we've got to be moving quick, have we? Oh, shit. Right. Okay. Shit, there's several of them. Ooh, shotgun upgrades. All that loot. Oh shit, I got. Oh, that was a twofer.
go. That's something I could get to around this side. I'm an idiot and I've just wasted time. Hopefully, uh, I reckon two to three minutes at most, but I find that hard to believe. Coming here with the shotgun. Does that burn? Alright. Oh god. How do I put myself out? Okay. Shit! I just died. <laughs> Shotguns are generally very effective against mutants. Ah, oh, shit. Right, so he died, and I can't get through there. So what the hell do I do? Ah. I'm an umpty. I saw his flaming torch at the last second. Bunch of freaking lights I can activate in here, but... to make some of that. Make a full stack. Some of that on the go. Okay, so we have some weapon upgrades. Night vision scope. Don't think that's necessary. There's a very small dot on the target which is only detectable with night vision devices. Okay. 
Right, now the pistol, we don't need the long scope. I really don't think standard barrel. Right. Uh, standard barrel, short barrel. Ah, uh, we'll keep the suppressor on. Okay. That was a fucking nut shot if I ever saw one. I was like, hmm, that was a bit loud for my pistol. Shoot you. Okay then, folks. I think we've reached a good stopping point for this episode, so when we return, we shall continue the hunt for Anna in this den of filthy cannibals and see whether or not this is actually timed and whether or not she's going to be dinner before I make it in time. Take it easy, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Metro Exodus. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.